On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring updates to QuickBooks payments. With the introduction of Tap to Pay on iPhone and the QuickBooks mobile or Go payment apps, your clients can accept all types of in-person, contactless payments right on their iPhone. No card reader needed. Hey, Bro Advisors, it's Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know, where you can get exclusive access to demos of Intuit product enhancements by the leaders who built them. Let's jump right in with Jim for a look at Tap to Pay. Jim, welcome. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, thank you so much for having me today. And really excited to be here and talk about the feature that we recently launched. Uh, one of the top pain points we've learned from the business owners who have been taking in-person payments, particularly in the field service, construction, and professional service industry, is the issues related to using a car reader. And it has mostly involved friction in the workflow. Uh, we've learned that there are connection issues customer will have to bring their reader device with them when they're on site. And sometimes the reader is even out of charge. And more importantly, what we learned uh, from the accountants is that if their clients are using a non-QuickBooks solution to take payment, like Square or Stripe, but run the book using QuickBooks, uh, the transaction data is not going to connect automatically. And that has created many problems. So what we did is that we launched Tap to Pay on iPhone it's a capability that allows customers to take payment directly on their phone without a hardware device, as long as they have the QuickBooks mobile app installed. So from the pricing standpoint, it is also cheaper uh, compared to uh, the merchants doing key in. And then lastly, all the transaction data are automatically in sync uh, with the QuickBooks. So moving on to the experience, um, there are quite a few in product placements where we introduced this feature. The most promising one is this half sheet on homepage when a customer log into the mobile app. Then um, they will need to enable the feature on their device. Um, in this case, it's iPhone uh, by linking their feature uh, with their Apple ID. Then we show a confirmation screen that the device is set up. And once the feature is enabled, then tap to pay is in the front and center of the take payment workflow. Um, so there are actually a few ways to get there. Um, a customer can either go through an agnostic access points from the app homepage, or they can select a specific invoice from the invoice list. It will all bring them to the charge and record screen where they will see the option to take payment through a time to pay. All right, um, so that's a wrap. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. Jen, thank you so much for that demo. And thank you for watching. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let me recap with the fast facts. Tap to Pay on iPhone is available to all users of QuickBooks Online who have QuickBooks payments in the U.S. as of March 2025. That's all we have for now. For more product updates and demos, check out our In the Know Hub and be sure to register for our monthly webinar. We'll catch you next time.